I'm on my way to a job site where we are setting up a large off-grid cabin with solar power. So here we are, they just trucked the cabin in here. We're gonna see what this looks like. Yeah, check this out. This is the truck the cabin came on. Yeah, this is how the roof is put into position. There are three jacks, one in the front, one in the middle and one in the back. And you have three operators on electric drills. And uh, they're just gonna race the roof like this. It's pretty cool. Okay, here's the second side. Let me show you the solar rails that are put on this roof. So it's a rail mount system and uh, that'll accommodate the 10 solar panels. So I gotta grab my laptops. A uh, little bit more programming to do on the inverters. I just wanna limit them uh, for the specific generator we are using. And uh, I'm gonna limit each side to 20 amps in case there's only a, a one phase generator being used at times. It doesn't overload the generator. So while the cabin is being set up, uh, I'm programming the Multi Plus 2s for the inverter. Uh, that the customer is using so I'm going to limit each side to 20 amps um, so if he puts out uh, 240 volts uh, it'll charge on both inverters but if he uses let's say a Honda EU3000 that only puts out one phase then uh, only one of these inverters will uh, charge so it will not overload uh, the small generator so I adjusted all the settings for the EG4 batteries uh, with the proper voltages and I'm sending it to all devices right now. Uh, the only thing I need to do is, uh, this is a master inverter and this is a slave and uh, there is a ground relay in it and uh, I can only have one ground relay active so I gotta go into this inverter and turn the ground relay off. So I'm just downloading all the settings from the uh, slave inverter and I'm just gonna verify that it was saved properly and I'll show you where that uh, ground relay option is. I think it's under general and it just needs to be unchecked. Uh, yeah, they are setting up the cabin uh, as we speak here. Sorry about all the noise. Here we go. Okay, uh, so here under general, uh, 60 Hertz. See, this is the 20 amps on the second phase uh, dynamic. Uh, current limiter, you want that. Uh, grid, we are not doing anything, anything with grid. Uh, here, ground relay is actually on the inverter, so on the slave unit that needs to be turned off. Only the master unit should have it. And then let's just uh, verify the voltages here. I have 54 for float, which is correct. And 56.2 absorption. Uh, that's what the EG4 batteries are calling for, 56.2, yeah, okay, that's correct. And then the, the rebalancing here to like the lowest number, so this, this all looks good. So I'm going to send it uh, to, the, to the slave unit only, click that, and I'm going to send just the changes to this device. The first time I saved, I sent it to both devices, right now it's just this device. So let's, let's do that, it clicked. I don't know if it needs to reboot or not, but uh, that's it. I'm done, I can back out of here. I'm not going to save any of it. Uh, here's the current status uh, of the inverters. So uh, it's 60 Hertz, 120 volts. There's a little bit of idle consumption here somewhere. Looks good, all done. Yeah, we can turn the lights on. So while I'm in here, I gotta do one final check and measure the voltage between these two inverters, uh, between the hot and the neutral on L1, I should get 120, and uh, I should get 120 between these two, and then between this black and this red, I should get 240 volts. Next one here, I can actually do it this way. Yeah, I'll show you. Let me see, turn this light on here real quick. And let me go from black to red. 
239 point some volts. I just want to make sure you believe me. So. so almost done here, last step. I'm going to turn the other two batteries on. Uh, this one fired up. We had them all turned on, so DC breaker on. And then just hit the on off button. And the BMS goes through its uh, charge up sequence. And uh, there's a pre charge resistor in here also. And actually, I'll give you even a percentage here. So, pretty cool. Give this about 30 seconds or so. You really don't have to wait, it's, it's just me. <laughs> okay, third battery. Let it go through its sequence. And that's it. 15 kilowatt hours of capacity. 10,000 watts uh, continuous rating, 20,000 watts peak. It's a big system. Okay, state of charge is at uh, three LEDs right here. Got the guys on the roof preparing uh, the solar rails for installation. Here are the 10 panels that are going on the roof. We need some extensions here, so we're gonna crimp on uh, some connectors to the extension because we're gonna do five and five. And then we're gonna use these combiners here to combine the, the two parallel strings. So first five panels are on there, went pretty quick. The last panel is connected all the way to the middle of the string and then each panel is plugged into each other. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Yeah, so we just plug the solar array in. Let me get into Bluetooth range here. Currently we're looking at uh, 725 watts of solar. Get the reflection out of there. Uh, PV voltage is 150 volts. Uh, batteries are currently at 53 volts and we are charging at 13 amps bulk charge. Yeah, everything works. And uh, panels are completely shaded right now at 700, 700 watts. But yeah, this is it. Works great. All right. I think that's all I have for you today. See you guys on the next one.